it is currently mid-February, and if you look outside, you will notice that there is still no snow on the ground. We're supposed to get a snowstorm in like two days, um, but currently there is no snow, and it's warm enough to do things outside. Our trails won't be open for another few months, but the good thing about skate parks is they're made out of concrete. They don't go through freeze-saw. Freeze-saw. Freeze-freeze-thaw. They don't go through fruit. All right, we just got to the park, and it's actually pretty good. And this parking lot is a little bit icy, but the park itself, there's a few uh, snowy spots here and there. Then otherwise, it looks mostly dry, so uh, I think we lucked out. I showed up at a very interesting conversation talking about the margin of error for BMX and park riding versus mountain biking. Yeah, and moto. You have like moto, you have like 10 feet, and then mountain bikes, it depends on what you're riding. Well, like let's say six inches, and then BMX, you have like nothing. Yeah. You have to be perfect. So, Haley learned how to ride quarter pipe is huge for riding in the woods. I feel like to me, riding this stuff is like. Bring your, uh, putting your knife on a sharpener or like honing your knife. Yeah. Refining your uh, precision. When you get off of a mountain bike and then ride a skate park, you, you feel loose and sloppy because you have to be so good at the skate park. We got like the perfect quarter over here to practice dropping in. You just got snaked by Finn. I know, I, I, I'm <laughs> well, I've been working through the cracks. Yeah, I was gonna say your goal by the end of the day is to drop in after that. Third crack? The third crack. Yeah. By the time you get there, you're you're at a full. Full drop in. Yeah. Then we gotta do a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> practicing getting out of quarter pipes now. Oh, that was right at the third crack. That counts. Whatever, like, it doesn't really matter as long as, like, you just get comfortable getting out of a quarter pipe. But um, the safest way is having your back foot towards the deck. All right, there's a spine right here. Oh, last time we got all the way to the end. So scary. <laughs> okay, okay. You got it. A little bit better. A little further every time. I think I'd be happy if I could get my back tire past that crack. I saw a bar spin in the works. <laughs> I saw the commitment and then <laughs> I got off balance I hit my brake and then I was like tracked on the top <laughs> you were close you want that second crack yeah nice <laughs> not quite to the end but well past that <laughs> well past my goal alright I don't care if I don't do anything else like that was pushing my comfort zone like Technically, like, difficulty, I don't know how difficult that is, but definitely uncomfortably scary. Should take up a career in soccer. Bill doesn't like any of my jokes. He's in his own little world. Have you heard anything I said? <laughs> <laughs> I've been in my own little <laughs> Tra trail maintenance. Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> trying to do no brakes and no cranks. kind of looked half good for once. <laughs> Off camera, Haley decided to drop in on a actual quarter pipe. Yeah. And that was her first time riding out of a bowl. Okay. <laughs> Oh, linking stuff up. <laughs> Look at that. Nice job. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, and then you started straying away from. I think one of the reasons why I really like riding skate parks and like other things like this is you do a lot of repetition and that's often not something you do on a mountain bike trail. So you get to like really work on something over and over. You're not going that far. You can just go back to starting point, try over and just try some stupid things over and over. So for me, this manual around the bowl, it's not something I'm particularly good at, but it's also not something I do on the trail that often. So. This is a great place to practice. Not allowed to show me up in the first try. Sorry. The camera did. <laughs> that time I did. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a real quarter. Yeah. Well, like, so now when you go to ride mountain bike and you see a steep rolling like that, you will think less about it because, like, oh, well, I actually have suspension. Well, and what's, what's except crazy? it's probably going to be wet. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in roots. Right, yeah. But, like, honestly, kind of messing with your perception of something without coping, all of a sudden you start looking at it and you're like, oh, that's not that steep. Yeah. Where before walking over there, I've been like, too steep. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm pumped. Now we, we can. Oh, uh, you okay? <laughs> okay. We go to more skate parks and I'll actually be able to ride. Yeah. All right. There you go. Not too bad. You look actually really comfortable on it. Yeah. It's just the shock is weird. Oh, 
it's that time of the day where there's just people all over the place. By people, I mean little kids, which is fine. It's just, it's hard to get a run in without. Nice. I have a feeling you felt a little bit off, but it looked pretty good. It was off. Yep. It Same problem scary. as you. Needed more speed. It's just like, it's so scary to like, you don't want to like go to, you don't want to land a flat on that. It's a pretty big feature. And then you have that weird thing after it like. Oh. There you go. <laughs> mm. Scary, which is really scary. <laughs> One big disadvantage of Mount Lake, it's harder to, if you know you're coming up short, hard to push your bike over and clear the coping. It's a lot easier to do it with smaller wheels where you're not gonna. Oh. <laughs> that jump in is, yeah. That's your best jump in. Heads up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, so close. Oh. I think we both have to push through harder and suck our back end up at the end. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, that Holy counts. Cow. I can't believe you pulled that off. I thought his back end was sliding out on him. I thought you were a goner. I thought I was a goner too, but I got it. Now you gotta get it. Dude, maybe we're doing it all wrong. That is sick. Yo. Alright, one thing to take note of on that last try, I knew I wasn't gonna get it, so you can just hit the last minute. I actually pushed my back wheel down so I'd case more. That's purposeful, so you don't land right on the coping. It's better if you have more surface area if you're gonna case. Yo! You got it? My back wheel, I don't think cased, but I was all front wheel first. That's okay. Hey, just gotta make it over. <laughs> My excuse is, I'm not Jay Dalton. <laughs> uh, Jay, come here and uh, back in O'Hander that. Yeah, Lebanon, New Hampshire. Let's go, dude. All right, we're going to do a little follow the leader for uh -huh. old times' sakes. <laughs> Haley's going to follow me and Ian. Oh, yeah. We're going to follow each other right to McDonald's. <laughs> Five guys. Five guys. Five guys.
beautiful. Ah, damn it. You're too fast, Haley. It's not the rain. So good. One of the things that Ian is insanely good at, that he just is casually throwing in small stylistic tricks. Had to do it. I got it. You did? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I thought you were going to do some of your filler tricks, which I wanted to see. No. I just had to do it before we left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That is such a flowy line. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, Finn. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> what is your claim to fame in uh my claim to fame isn't there a certain s someone that you uh beat in a game of bike at one point your career highlight your career highlight <laughs> i don't know if i should say that. <laughs> me and my brother beat trey jones in a game of bike at woodward years ago how old were you guys at the time 13 15? 15 yeah 14 and we won it. We actually won a Sunday bike, and that's why we started riding Sunday bikes. Is Woodward had one to give away, and it was all good. But we had some weird tricks. We were doing like X up rides and stuff, and Trey was doing like 360 double whips. We couldn't do that, but we got them on some of the others. I, I remember uh, I got a bunch of like people with uh, a knack knack. No one could knack knack back oh. then. Dude, Trey was doing crazy knack knacks actually that year. They're like top side, but no, nobody really does that stuff anymore. I can only do the old school style knack knack. I can't do new school knacks. You do back foot. That, your back foot. Yeah. Yeah. But that that was a fun year at Woodward, and yeah, I can't wait till we go back to Woodward. One of these days. All right, we're headed out. That ended up being a uh, really fun session. Like so it's. Much I think you can tell from like the early part of the video how awkward I feel in parks these days because I don't get to ride them that much. It just takes me a while to like warm up to the transition, the precision you need. By the end, I was starting to feel a lot better, get the like flow a whole lot better. I used to be pretty good at riding parks and just when you don't use it, you lose it. And so I've gone basically many years without riding parks consistently. So it's just like the edge of a knife, you gotta sharpen it back up and with what I see on social media, sometimes it's nice just to be real and show you guys things that aren't just super sensational. So I try to keep it more real, true to life. And I don't like to like come up with a whole story and narrative about a video. I just like to go do things and to bring you guys along with me. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.